Hey everyone, my name is Mahwan Mehrampur and I'm a D2 at Sacramento State University College of Dental Medicine. I moved to America when I was seven years old from Iran and we settled in Sacramento because that's where majority of my family are. And I ended up attending Sacramento State University, majored in biology with a concentration in biomedical sciences. One of my friends had already been at Sac State for a year. She was also pre-dental, so she introduced me to the pre-dental club. Prior to that, she had always told me amazing things about um, the pre-dental club and all the opportunities that she was given through the club. So I kind of wanted to dip my feet in and see what's in store for me. Um, I was able to get my DA uh, certificate and then um, I was able to land an internship where I met my mentor. They also gave me the opportunity to um, you know, attend CDA Cares and California Care Force. And it really rec helped me recognize um, the greater passion I have for community service, um, specifically within dentistry. Some of my hobbies include uh, rock climbing, camping, I'm a total camper, I love it, and um, just hiking anywhere outdoors, like, I love it. So my interest in dentistry actually started way back in high school. Um, my high school used to do career fairs every year and so basically parents or people in the community would come out and do a little presentation about their career. And so my uh, friend group and I decided to go watch the one of the MDs who were presenting. So we were like, okay, let's go do that. Um, but I got split from my uh, friend group because of like a schedule situation with my classes. So I was in the office and the presentation had already started. So by the time I got there, I was looking through the little peepholes of like the windows on the doors and um, all the seats were taken and me being an awkward freshman, I would didn't want to walk in and make a whole scene and stand in the corner. So I decided to go a couple doors down and there was a dentist presenting. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'll just, you know, watch this, wait until lunch is over and then go on with my day because I didn't want to eat lunch alone. <laughs> so, um... Basically, I, you know, watched the presentation and when I came out, I was like, oh my gosh, dentistry is actually pretty cool. <laughs> um, and so I went home and I started Googling a bunch of different things about dentistry um, and YouTube videos and it kind of just took off from there. Um, what's kind of funny is that my family when I first told them that I want to do dentistry they were all kind of like confused because <laughs> my family is split evenly from like MDs and then we have the engineers so um just being the first you know person who wants to do dentistry in the family it was kind of like oh you're like kind of the odd one out but um they're totally cool with it All my friends who had already taken the DAT recommended boot camp, so I decided to go with boot camp. Um, I tried following the study schedule, but um, I kind of had to slow it down for myself because I wanted to emphasize on subjects that I knew that I was weaker at. And so that really helped a lot. Um, and then I took the test July of 2020, but I started studying for it March of 2020. Um, and you know, with COVID and all that stuff, it was really stressful because schools like were shut down. And then there was a time where I didn't even know if we were going back to school or if things were going to be online, but, um, with all of that, it worked out. Um, my biggest tip for pre-dense is, um, making a schedule for yourself and like if it helps you to take a paper calendar and just write it down that's what helped me to be honest write it down do that if not you're more of a techie person do it on your laptop or on your ipad but really like set times for yourself like you know like from eight to nine i'm gonna study this section of biology from nine to ten i'm gonna do this but while you're scheduling it out your week out or you're two weeks out, whatever, make sure you add time for breaks. Because I remember when I was first studying for it, I would just, you know, study nonstop. And, you know, there were times where I would eat my lunch while I'm studying. And it's just like, 
not mentally healthy. It's, it's, I was so exhausted. I, at times I didn't even want to study for it anymore. It was, it was just a mess. So make sure you take time to yourself, take 10 minute breaks, walk outside, um, and just let out all the stress and then get back to it because it really helps. I feel like what set me apart from the crowd was the internship that I had. Um, and that's because the office that I interned at was a candy land for pre-dental students. So um, my mentor had invested a lot of money into different dental tech, um, like Seric machines, Solea lasers, CBCT machines. And so it was a great opportunity for me to get um, some introduction to the different technologies that um, they had. And so aside from chairside side assisting and doing my DA duties, um, my mentor would sit me down on a type of dot and teach me how to do different types of preps. And he would let me design and glaze crowns and, um, you know, play around with the Soleil lasers. So, um, I, I think just having a little foundation in dental tech kind of set me apart. My interview day was less stressful than I was expecting it to be. Um, I heard back for an interview, I think a month and a half after I had already applied. Um, and, you know, I was so stressed when I first sat down and opened the Zoom call. And yeah, it was, it was over Zoom <laughs> because it was during COVID. But I was so stressed out. But once I started talking to them and, you know, getting to know them a little bit, um, it, it kind of like the stress just like faded away. It was the vibe that they were kind of setting for the interview. So I was interviewed by my three deans um, and the style was open file and closed file. So meaning some of my deans had already read my file and a few of them had it. Um, and so they asked some questions about me, where I'm from. Um, I think they asked like why dentistry and then, um, they asked a few ethical questions and some what if scenarios, but overall, I think, uh, just, you know, the vibe of the interview and the, you know, I walked away feeling really excited and really happy. Um, and I truly believe it's because of how they decided to run their interview. So, yeah. My biggest tip is to do a few mock interviews before the actual interview. And you could do this with your pre-dental club or your just your friends. Um, SDN has, um, you know, I think on SDN there's a bunch of threads where people have posted previous interview questions that um, they remember from their interviews. So I, what I did was I went through um, a few threads, copy and pasted questions, put it on a Google doc and had my friends um, interview me. Um, and so I, that really helped. I think we did a Zoom call with my pre-dental club, um, just, you know, doing a few mock interviews at the time. Um, my second tip is just be yourself. Like, um, they, they truly want to get to know who you are. Um, and as stressful as it is, just take a deep breath and be yourself. At the end of the day, it's just an interview. Um, I know I've messed up on a couple interviews, but you know, at, at the end of the day, you'll be fine. It's not the end of the world if you mess up. So I applied to seven schools, two out of state, five in state, counting uh, CNU. And um, back in 2018, uh, my pre-dental club was, you know, they, they all heard the news that um, there was possibly going to be a new dental school in Sacramento. And when I heard about that, I was like, oh my gosh, how cool would it be that the school you know, ends up opening by the time I'm already graduated and ready to go to dental school. And so, um, fast forward, <laughs> like when I'm studying for the DT, 2020 comes around and, um, I find out that, okay, California North State is actually going to open. 
um, for the cycle that I'm applying for. And um, I decided to apply and it honestly came down to location. I wanted to stay closest to Sacramento as possible and that's just because of my family. Um, I'm very, very connected with my family. They are literally my support system and I definitely needed that during dental school. So once I got into CNU, I was like, this is it. This is the perfect opportunity. This is what I've wanted for honestly ever and I wouldn't change a single thing about it. Um, I think what makes my school different from other schools is our culture. Um, you know, we're we're a small class. So our I'm I'm part of the class of 2025, so we there's like 37 of us and then um class of 2026, there's 40 of them. Um and so I feel like just having a small class really helps us grow closer together. We're honestly a very, very close family and the culture that the deans have established at the school just makes you feel at home and just comfortable. Um, and a great example of that is if I have an issue with something, let's say it's a personal thing or just school related, whatever, I know that I have a support system at school, whether it's my friends or just my faculty or even my deans where I can go to and just have a conversation with them. Um, and I know that they'll have my back regardless. So transition from pre-dent to an actual dental student was a little overwhelming for me. I definitely had imposter syndrome. You know, the first week of school, you have orientation, it's great. You're meeting new people, you're finding friends. But then the first week of actual class hits and then the second week hits and then there's more stuff and it's just everything's like on top of each other. Um, and at times I was sitting in my room thinking, am I really like fit for this program? Like, am I like smart enough to be here? It, it was just a lot of thoughts. Um, and, you know, I think what helped me the most was obviously like my friends at school and just the support of my faculty and deans. Um, I remember after the first two weeks, um, my one of my deans, came out and kind of told all of us like, hey, like, remember, this is not undergrad. Um, and this is like, we're here to support you. We're here to help you. You're not fighting for a grade. Like, we really want you guys to understand how to take care of patients um, and how to be a great clinician. And so um, that that really helped, like pulling that undergrad mindset out of my head because like undergrad is like it was just always like a competition to get the best grade or to be the best in your class um so that that really helped and another thing that really helped me personally was just honestly like my friends at school um once I started talking to them about how I was feeling I realized that we're all kind of feeling the same way we're all going through the motions together and so we just you know made a really good support group and um i am so grateful for each and one of them so class of 2025 is running on a three and a half year program um so it's a little accelerated um, class of 2026 and future classes will be on a full four-year program. So my typical day might be a little different than future classes, um, but basically we run a flip classroom schedule where we have a little lecture in the morning and then we go into small groups and work on case studies with our facilitators. Um, so basically we're not in lecture from eight to five. Um, and so on Mondays, um, I have to wake up like around 5.30, maybe 6, because I have a uh, 45-minute commute. But class starts at 8. 
Um, and then on Mondays and Tuesdays, I have operative dentistry, which is basically SimLab. So from eight to five, I have SimLab. And then on Wednesdays, I have perio um, lecture in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it's perio SimLab. Then on Thursdays, I have cariology and dental material. And then on Fridays, I have um, oropathology and growth and development. And on Saturdays, currently, we have um, introduction to health systems. Um, our Saturday classes change um, every three to four weeks. Um, so, and that's pretty cool. But Saturday is not eight to five. It's from nine to three. So um, same flip classroom style. Um, but yeah. What makes me most excited about CNU is um, being able to kind of develop that culture more. Um, being part of the inaugural class, you know, gives us the opportunity to set up organizations like ASDA, refine the curriculum, um, and most importantly, really help our class of 2026 um, have a smoother transition into dental school. So oh, my biggest advice to pre-dents is to not compare yourselves. I remember when I was a pre-dent, I would read stuff on SDN or I would read stuff on Facebook um, and I would just always constantly compare myself to other people. But in reality, everyone is on a whole different journey and um, there is no perfect dental student. There is no perfect applicant. Um, so just be yourself, um, work hard. I truly believe if you have your mindset to something and you try your best, you will succeed. But um, make sure you take a little mental health day for yourself because that is so, so important. Um, and yeah, relax and enjoy the ride. Before you know it, you'll you'll be where you want to be. If you have any questions, feel free to follow me at MM Dentistry with two eyes. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions about CNU or the DT or interview process. And to everyone who is applying right now or taking the DT, good luck. You got this. You're gonna do amazing.